What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So today's video we're gonna be talking about this electric water pump and the custom serpentine setup that I had to use to make all of this work. So because I ran an electric water pump, I had to customize my serpentine setup to make everything work because I did want to run an alternator because this is a street car. So um if it was a race car and I didn't run it, if I didn't need it to charge, if I was just going to charge it every time I raced it, then I wouldn't need an alternator. But I need an alternator because, like I said, I drive this car, so I need the battery to stay charged. So, um, my budget, my build is not on a budget, okay? But I know people that are building cars on a budget. Some people just doesn't have a certain amount of funds, and they have to build on a budget. So, like I said, for those that are building on a budget, do your homework first and foremost before, you know, because I spent a lot of money doing this here. So, anyway, um, I mean, I bought, I bought one kit and I just didn't want to go through all the work that it was going to take to do all of this. So, I was like, alright, you know what? I still got that kit. It's brand new. And it's in the garage and it's not being used i'll probably sell it or i use it on another build but this ict billet bracket right here it's adjustable as you can see here and down there and so this right here works perfect it came with a lot of sleeves and different hardware to make this all work but i still wind up having to do some customizations to it but i made it work and so as you can see like I said, my serpentine setup is different than a normal setup with like a mechanical water pump. It would have been a lot easier doing a mechanical water pump, but um, this engine, it's a pretty high performance engine. So it needed to get as much water to it as possible. So that's the reason I went with the electric water pump. So as you can see here, like I said, um, this is my alternator here, whatever. I use this bracket right here. At one point in time, you can see where um, the belt was rubbing. And you can see it's kind of black all down there, over here, um, because the belt was rubbing. So we had to get that situated. Um, but the alternator was really the most difficult part to get situated, because um, we wanted to make sure that it was straight so the belt was going straight. Cause at one time, I was popping belts um, like crazy because the simple fact that it wasn't straight. I wound up going and buying like 100 belts. So whenever one popped, I had a new one. Um, but anyways, we finally got that situated right there with the belt issue. Um, like I said, I had to do a couple of other little modifications to it um, to make everything work, make sure everything lined up and everything was straight. And so far, it's functioning like it should. Um, at one time, we had a problem with the belt rubbing the bottom of the water pump. So we got that situated. Um, the belt, I feel like, you know, it's tight enough. Um, I mean, everything is working. Some people may like theirs a little tighter, but this is a thin belt. I did want to change this to like, so I can, well, I guess all of these, so I can run the thicker belt. But I may or may not do it. It's just so much requiring to this car and so much that could be changed that doesn't need to be changed. But anyways, um, this is the setup. Like I said, it works good. I like it. It's a custom setup. So... If anybody need any help with their setup, make sure you just drop a comment down below. I love to help you can try to get your setup situated, but do your homework first and foremost because like I said, I spent a lot of money on all of this stuff, buying stuff, and it wasn't right or it wasn't like I wanted it. So do your homework first. Um, they sell kits. Like I said, and be mindful that, you know, you have to make sure my engine cylinder heads, you know, has these holes in it. Some cylinder heads 
don't come with these holes right here, okay? So, I'm pretty sure that you can drill them if you know what you're doing. But I don't recommend it, you know, unless you know what you're doing. These came in these cylinder heads, okay? So, like I said, um, you know, that's another thing you got to look out for as well because you have to have something to mount it to. So, like I said, just do your homework beforehand and it'll save you a lot of money up front, okay? So let's see what else we didn't go over. I think we pretty much went over everything. But yeah, everything's lined up, everything's functioning, nothing's in the way or anything. And um, I'm highly satisfied with how this turned out. Um, so once again, this is the electric water pump serpentine setup. It's